Hi beautiful, welcome to my channel. In today's video I am ranking my holiday palettes from worst to best. Keep in mind this is based on my level of excitement, maybe the price on the palettes a little bit, and how much use I think I'm going to get out of them. So if our opinions differ, it's okay. We probably have different makeup styles, okay? I have all of these palettes listed down below in the description box. So if you're interested in any of them, please check out the links down there. And we do have 15 holiday palettes that I have tried to rank. So let's just go ahead and get started. At number 15, I have a Pat McGrath palette. It is the Bordeaux Bliss Quint from Pat McGrath. And take a look at what the inside of this one looks like. It has a pretty nice rose color story. My issue with this palette is that it doesn't have any mattes in it at all whatsoever. So I really didn't like the looks that I created with this one. I like to have at least one matte shade so that I don't end up with shimmer all over the entirety of my eyes and this one doesn't have any mattes at all plus the fact that the common story isn't that exciting to me that all makes this one be in the 15th spot is it a horrible palette no all of the palettes i tried this holiday season are pretty good but again we gotta rank them so this one is last <laughs> next also from pat mcgrath and this one is actually a pretty big palette this one here, the Jeweled Temptation palette from Pat McGrath. My main issue with Pat McGrath holiday palettes this year in general is that she didn't give us a big holiday palette. She didn't come out with a big 18 pan palette and that was a huge letdown for me personally. So this one has nine single eyeshadows and two blushes this one is meant for darker complexions than me so this blush doesn't really work on me the eyeshadows do all work for me but i find that even though i like the color story of the eyeshadows they are something that i have in my collection over and over and over again and so it's not a special palette plus it's like 75 dollars i believe is what these retailed for so 75 dollars for nine eyeshadows is a pretty steep price and you can argue it also has blushes but i didn't care about the blushes i wanted a pat mcgrath holiday eyeshadow palette and she didn't give us one you can say i'm a little bit salty about it okay but anyways this one is at number 14 again not a horrible palette the eyeshadows perform well they are pigmented the shimmers are shiny the blushes are actually kind of pretty i do really like this one in fact this is my favorite blush from both palettes but we gotta rank them somewhere, and so I'm putting this one in the 14th spot. At number 13, also from Pat McGrath, another of the quints. This one here is the Sunset Romance Quint, which does have matte shades. This one has two matte shades. I quite like the performance of this one, I'm not gonna lie. It's a pretty nice little quint. I like the color story. I think this is great to have if you like brown and rose colors it has beautiful shimmers i overall did really like this palette so the only reason why this one is towards the back of the list is because it is also a pretty common color story things that we've seen before especially from pat mcgrath and just because i'm a little bit more excited about the palettes remaining at number 12 we have a palette not from pat mcgrath this time this is the sigma beauty and the beast Disney collaboration palette and here is what it looks like. I really loved Sigma's Beauty and the Beast collaboration. I thought this palette was great. I love shimmer shades like Rose Petal and Mashery. I think that's how you say that. These are very pretty. I love this ethereal winter's night color up here as well. It is so beautiful and so glamorous. And I love the matte shades that they put in this palette as well. You have your transition shades and you have your standard browns, but you also have these rose toned mattes right here. And I love, I love, love this blue navy color that they put in the palette as well. So overall, I did really like this palette and I did love Sigma's Beauty and the Beast collaboration. The only thing that puts this palette a little bit towards the back in my ranking, I guess, is that the color story is not that unique. It is maybe a bit repetitive. There is one too many golds in there. There's like four different gold shades. 
um, <laughs> but other than that it is a pretty good palette and I was impressed with the formula I feel like Sigma has improved their formula throughout the years for sure because these shades were pigmented I didn't get much fallout they weren't as powdery as I remember them being in years prior so overall this was a pleasant surprise at number 11, I have the Afrogalactic palette from Juvia's Place. I didn't do a dedicated video on this one. I did a short video and I was so, so beyond impressed with every single formula in this palette. If you guys like this color story and you can get your hands on this palette, it is 100% worth every single penny. Juvia's Place is a pretty affordable brand. This palette is not overpriced at all whatsoever. And I really, really love the formulas of these shades. I have tried Juvia's Place in the past. I've tried other eyeshadow palettes from them. And they are not the most consistent brand when it comes to eyeshadows. I find that some palettes are pretty nice some are great and then there's a lot of dots in the middle there there's some inconsistency in some formulas there's some shades that just don't work as well well do not worry about that when it comes to the afrogalactic palette from juvia's place because every single one of these shades has a fantastic fantastic formulation this palette is colorful it has multi-chrome shades this one here being my favorite it is insanely beautiful I love it the only reason it's not more towards the front is because the rest of the palettes remaining are fantastic <laughs> and because it's a pretty colorful palette it's not an everyday palette for me but I absolutely love it if this is your vibe right here go for it you're not going to regret it because the formula in this palette is fantastic next a brand new palette that I just reviewed I did do a couple of looks with this one already I swatched it for you I gave you my thoughts on it a pretty good palette it is this beautiful thing right here the snow dream palette from Odin's eye this one has a pretty light and ethereal formula you're not going to get a ton of pigment especially when it comes to matte shades out of this palette the darkest it gets is this warm brown color here I truly wish that they would have put the neutral dark matte color in this palette versus the hey reindeer one because I think that color would have been perfect to combine with the rest of the colors that are in this palette. Anyways, this palette is now on sale. I have a discount code with Odin's Eye if you're interested in anything from them. The code is PATTY10. And you guys know Odin's Eye is one of my favorite indie eyeshadow brands. They make some spectacularly themed palettes, especially when it comes to Christmas. I love the outside of the palettes. They are so busy and so Christmassy. And I love the formulas of the shadows you can find in their palettes. The mattes are nice they are blendable they are buildable they are pigmented when they are dark there's a lot of light shades in here that are not as pigmented but that's because they are meant to be light shades anyways and their shimmers are very sparkly very attention grabbing which i personally absolutely love this palette here also has this um holo shade which is like a silver base with all different color sparkles in it it looks so beautiful it is a little bit crumbly but it is a fantastic, fantastic shade. Like I said, I have created a couple of looks with this one here on my channel, if you're interested. I love this color here, that color, the hollow shade. If I do my eyes first, the golds are nice. That purple up there is pretty nice as well. I wish I could change that red for a different color. The red seems kind of random in there, but other than that, this is a fantastic palette to have. In my ninth spot, I have another Pat McGrath palette. This one here is the Super Strux Splendor palette from Pat McGrath. This is the other big Pat McGrath palette that launched this year. Same format as the previous one I showed you. As you can see, we have the nine shadows with the two blushes. The reason this one is a lot more towards the front of the line is because I really love this color story and the mattes that she included in this palette. The shimmer greens from this palette are fantastic. This one kind of looks like what I'm wearing today, but it's not. The shimmer greens anyways are fantastic, very attention grabbing, and I really love the mattes that she has in this palette. I am wearing this matte color here on the crease of my eye today, and I absolutely love it. This mauve shade right here is also 
one that I like a lot. So I love the color story in this palette a lot more. This is something that I see myself reaching for more than the previous Pat McGrath palette that has the same format that I showed you. But the reason it is not towards the front of the list is because, again, she forces to buy two blushes that I didn't necessarily want to purchase. And this is a $75 palette for nine eyeshadows. I'm gonna say it again, please Pat McGrath, bring back the holiday palette. I feel like if Pat McGrath were have released a holiday palette this year, like an 18 pan big holiday palette like she's done the past three to four years, it would probably be my top palette of the season because I feel like the top contenders for me this year are not like as Christmassy and as holiday as I wish them to be, but they are the better performing palettes that I'll get the most use out of. So that's why I put them towards the front. Anyways, this next palette I'm going to talk about, I am very, very excited about. It is fantastic and it is what I am wearing today especially around my eyelid area. <laughs> in the eighth spot, we have the Nissa Myricks Lightworks Volume 5 palette. So check it out right here. This palette is packed full of the most incredible, shimmery, sparkly shades. It is packed full of multi-chrome shades and it has a pretty colorful color story that is beautifully divided like this in different categories. For example, today I used the greens back here. So if you have trouble using this palette, just kind of divide it vertically like this and it'll become much easier to use. The reason this one is not more towards the front is because of the nature of this palette. Vanessa Myricks makes these so that they are purely shimmery, sparkly goodness, and that is a fantastic thing. But at the same time, these are not shades that I personally am comfortable using without a matte, okay? So that's why I put a matte around them today. And I love the look that I created, but with a matte, I feel comfortable. And so because we don't have any matte shades in this palette, it doesn't rank as high as some of the other palettes we have coming up next, even though I might like these shimmers better. In fact, I do like these shimmers better. It's not a complete palette for me. It needs mattes for me to be able to use it on its own. It's a palette that I'll always reach for. And at the same time, I'll always have to reach for a matte in order to use it together. But other than that, this palette is absolute perfection. Oh, the other con, it's pricey. This was, I think, 125. But the formulas, you guys, the formulas are so good. I created this super sparkly eyeshadow look today, as you can see. And you probably already saw the video where I created this one. If you haven't, it's the video prior to this one, so definitely check it out. The shimmers in the Denise Myricks palette are so creamy and smooth that you can get this beautiful level of shimmer and glitter on your eyeballs without having any fallout at all whatsoever underneath the eyes. That is how creamy these shades are. So honestly, I highly recommend it. It is pricey. You will have to reach for something else, but it is a fantastic, fantastic palette. I have seven palettes to go and I must admit to you that I am very unhappy with the way I rank them. And it's not because of me doubting the way I rank them, it's because these palettes are all so different and I feel like they're very occasion specific and so it's unfair to rank them next to each other. But with that said, I already decided this is the way they go and I'm not changing it, so let's just keep going. In my seventh spot is the Charlotte Tilbury Holiday Palette this year, the Beautyverse Palette, and I must say, this palette has a beautiful combination of shimmer shades and matte shades. And I also must say that the matte shades in the Beautyverse palette are unlike any mattes I have ever tried. They are the most creamy, blendable mattes I have ever had the pleasure of having on my eyeballs. They blend themselves. If you have trouble blending and you want something that literally blends itself, get this palette here. It is incredible, especially, especially the matte shades. Now, I do like the shimmer shades that she put in this palette, but I'm not obsessed with the shimmer shades that she put in this palette. I wish that the shimmers felt as creamy as the mattes feel. Are they nice? They are nice shimmers. I didn't really get a lot of fallout with them, but they feel a bit more powdery, a bit more 
I, I don't want to say gritty but kind of and they just don't feel as smooth and as luxurious as the mattes feel I feel like these are luxurious mattes with high-end glitters if that makes any sense with that said you can get the most beautiful glamorous natural looks with this palette it is extremely easy to use the mattes are the most luxurious ever and I honestly love it <laughs> It pains me that this next palette is not on my top five, it's actually my six, and that's because it's Natasha Denona, and because I love it, but I just feel like I'll get more use out of the other ones in front of it, so I put it six. I'm talking about the Natasha Denona Zenin palette here, and before you ask in the comments for the five looks one palette video with this one, I know I said I was going to do it, and I have not done it yet, but every time I think about doing a five looks one palette with this, I just don't think I can. I haven't tried, but I don't think I can because I truly feel like a lot of the looks that I'm going to end up creating with this palette are going to look very, very similar to one another because the color story is pretty limited and is pretty repetitive. With that said, if this grungy black and white thing is your vibe, this palette is fantastic, it is incredible. The mattes have great formulas, amazing pigmentations, but the shimmers. The shimmery sparkly shades that Natasha put in this palette are out of this world. They are glamorous, they are ethereal, they are pigmented, they are blendable. Honestly, incredible. They pair beautifully with the matte shades from the palette as well. I truly want to maybe challenge myself to do a five looks one palette with this one. I actually have one look done already too. I, I started filming the video <laughs> one day and I just never kept on going because I'm scared that they're all gonna look the same. I have a fear um, of all of the looks looking the same and I know that day I post the video if I ever finish it I'm going to get that freaking comment because I get it with palettes that are a lot more diverse than this one so imagine with a black and white palette. <laughs> with that said, the formulas in this palette are fantastic. And my favorite thing about it is that not every look that you create with the Zenon palette is like a super dark black smoky eye. That's not the vibe of this palette at all. It's actually a more softer, glamorous, gray toned palette. You can create some beautiful ethereal looks with this color story, believe it or not. I did a review video with this one and then I did a short video um, as well that has a different look in it and I honestly loved all three looks that I have created with this palette so far and even though I didn't think I was a black and white palette person I have loved every look that I have created with this palette so much so far that I do see myself reaching for it a lot in the future. Top 5 holiday palettes 2023 edition and in the 5th place I have from Odin's Eye the Hey Reindeer palette right here. Again Odin's Eye always kills me with their holiday themed palettes and their fantastic formulas. I'm definitely very happy they put a dark brown color in this palette because you can transform a lot of your looks that you can create with this palette with a dark shade like this one. The red I guess because like it's holiday, I get it, they put a red in there as well, but I could do without, I could put something else in there and be happier. Um, besides that, I do really, really love all of the cool tone matte shades that they put in this palette right up here and the fantastic, fantastic shimmer shades that this palette has in it as well. They are incredible, they are ethereal, pigmented, glittery, just wonderful. Not only do I like the performance and formula of this palette, but I also really love the color story and the possibility of like all of the different looks that you can create with these shadows right here. So I love this one, it is in fifth place for me this year. Let's move on to the next one. At number four, I have a palette from a brand that I love and I'm not clear on whether this was a holiday palette or not, but I got it around the same time as the rest of these. So I'm putting it in this video as a holiday palette, but I honestly don't think it is, but it is beautiful and um, I highly recommend it. I'm talking about the Glaminatrix Cosmetics rich romantic palette this palette is fantastic incredible 
top tier. I love the formulas. I love the incredible amount of like shiftiness that these shades in the middle here have. Again, my camera, oh, maybe we can do it a little bit of justice there. See how they shift from gold to silver to like green and even blue, like that color there specifically. All of these shades are super, super shifty, super shiny, ethereal, attention grabbing shimmer shades. Check them out right there. I love that they're all kind of light and perfect to like put in the center of the eyelid or inner corner. This palette also has some beautiful matte formulas and a wonderfully romantic and wearable color story. There is not a single complaint I could possibly tell you about this palette or this color story or the formulation of these shades. It is fantastic. I do have a Glaminatrix Cosmetics discount code as well. It's Patty 10 as well if you're interested. Glaminatrix Cosmetics does come out of Australia, so the shipping might take a little bit longer depending on where you are in the world, but I promise you the quality of the palette 10 out of 10. It is superb. Incredible. I absolutely love it. Three more palettes to go and we have some Pat McGrath in my top three. My third most favorite holiday palette that has launched this year is this one right here. It is a Pat McGrath Quint and this one is called Bronze Ecstasy. I just see myself getting a ton of use out of this palette and this color story. I love the cool tone brown and how blendable that shade is. You can turn that cool tone brown into the most beautiful like transition type shade because it blends out into nothingness. The formula is so soft and so blendable. It has this beautiful burgundy shade back here that you can darken the brown with. And you guys know I am a huge sucker for burgundy, purpley type shades. So I absolutely love that one. And then it has these incredibly pigmented, fantastic glittery shimmer shades right here that are so glamorous and combine so beautifully with the matte shades in this palette. This palette has a fantastic formulation and a color story that personally I <laughs> die for. I see myself wearing these shades on a daily basis for a huge amount of different occasions and I absolutely love it. Um, the formula is good, the price is good, so I had to put it towards the front of this video. If you haven't gotten it yet, I recommend it. I think the whole Pat McGrath holiday collection will probably eventually go on sale. So at this point, just wait for the Pat McGrath sale to buy them. But this and the next palette are my most recommended from the Pat McGrath holiday collection because they are truly the best and most unique in my opinion. So at number two is the next one, which is from the same collection, of course, the Lunar Nightshade palette. This palette is incredible. It has the most unique color story out of everything Pat McGrath came out with this year for the holiday season. I love the teal. I love the very dark teal. I love this super light amethyst shade. I am a sucker for this purpley burgundy color back here. And then it has your standard good old shimmer inner corner shade. So take a look right there at the swatches of this one. This palette gives you some incredible glamorous looks. Believe it or not, the combination of this satin color right here, the burgundy, with the teal colors and the light amethyst is incredible. I fell in love with this palette, not just the moment I saw it, but the moment I tried it because the look that I created with this one when I first tried it bought me over. It was incredible. It was glamorous, but like colorful and dramatic and different all at the same time. It's definitely a perfect palette for the holiday season. I love the color story and I love that it's different. I love that it's something that Pat at least has never given us before. The quints this year from the Pat McGrath collection have the best formula. The bigger Pat McGrath palettes have her formula that is made in the USA, which is just not as good as her Italian formula. In contrast, the little quints are made in Italy, and every single shade you find in these quints is extremely, extremely creamy and blendable and easy to use. So at number one, drums please, <laughs> 
Um, I have the Pretty Grunge palette from Huda Beauty. And I'm not happy with that because I feel like this isn't an ideal holiday palette. At least to me, it's not like, yes, you have some shimmer shades and some glimmer shades in there that are nice, but it's not like, it doesn't scream holiday to me. However, I feel feel like out of every single palette I talked about today, this is the one that I see myself getting the most use out of because it has neutral to cool toned shades in it, it has some purpley colors that I love, it has some pops of shimmer which I also love, it has a good formulation and a good variety of shades in there as well. I feel like a lot of my other top palettes like the Quince are very limited because there are only five shades in there. The Glaminatrix one is not even like a holiday palette either. It's pretty romantic kind of spring summer. And then the Hey Reindeer one is pretty good, but it's not one that I see myself getting as much use out of as this one. So all of that was what made me put this one in the first place, but I just don't feel like it's like the best holiday palette. Again, I feel like if Pat McGrath had actually released a big holiday palette this year, it would probably be my first option. I mean, if the color story was good and the formula was good, of course, but like if it was consistent with her previous year's holiday palettes, I feel like I would have really liked it. Anyways, this right here is my number one. I love it. I did a five looks one palette with this one and you can see the looks are different and they are distinct and they are glamorous and smoky all at the same time. Even though this is a grungy palette, I feel like you can make it very wearable because Huda still put some light matte colors all throughout the palette that you can choose whether or not to darken with the darker mattes in the palette and then of course it has some really nice shimmer shades as well that you can combine with the rest of the colors to create your eyeshadow looks. Take a look right here at the glimmery shimmery sparkles that this palette has. I do really also wish you would have put a bigger variety of colors when it comes to the shimmer shades in this palette because they're kind of all close to one another like these three right here they're not that that different from one another I think so I wish that there was a bit more variety but like I said overall the formula is fantastic the color story is fantastic and you can create a beautiful amount of looks with this one plus something that is very important to me is that it is a very wearable palette that you can take anywhere and use for a huge variety of occasions so that definitely makes me happy about this one and that's why I made it my number one. Before you leave this video please let me know down in the comment section what is your favorite holiday palette that has come out this year because I want to know. I want to know if you guys are like me where you're a little bit hot and cold about the holiday releases this year. I love the palettes, I love their performance, but are they like the best holiday palettes, especially if I look at past years? I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, I truly hope that this video was somewhat helpful and that you were entertained with me. If you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in any of the palettes I talked about today, check out the links down below in the description box. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I love talking about eyeshadow palettes, I love ranking palettes, I love creating looks with palettes. So don't leave without subscribing. I love you all so much. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back in the next one. Bye.